borderline personality disorder. BPD. What a fun little thing that is. Actually, it's not so bad. If you just discovered that you have BPD, welcome to the club. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. I was diagnosed roughly, give or take, about four years ago with BPD. When I was diagnosed with BPD, it was the happiest day of my entire life. I mean, like confetti fell from the sky, little hippo giraffe misses were licking people's earlobes. It was a great day. I know that my reaction to it and a lot of other people's reactions are different. I've heard there's a lot of people when they find out they have BPD that it frightens them. I was not frightened because I was already frightened. I had been frightened my whole life of thinking that there was no explanation for the reason I acted the way I did. There was logic in the way I knew that I should treat people, and the way I knew I should act, and the way I knew that I should think. But then, there was this whole other thing inside of me that took over all the time, and just kept destroying aspects of my life. That was what terrified me. For years I was terrified of that. When I was finally diagnosed, there was finally an explanation, there was finally a reason. It wasn't me anymore. I was able to see BPD is not me. Now, unchecked BPD can run rampant and destroy aspects of my life. Just like anything that is allowed to just run free, though, there can always be destruction. Once I knew what was causing the problem in my life, then I could take control. I could start to train it, to, to craft it, to beat the living fuck out of it when it wanted to fuck with my life. That was why I was happy to finally know what I had to hit. I've just been diagnosed with BPD. Don't be sad, be happy, because now you have somewhere to go. You have a path. You now know what the problem is. You can't fix something if you don't know what's broken. It's much like you get in your automobile, you turn it on, and all of a sudden there's some weird noises, and it no longer wants to move. That should be what's scary, is the fact that now your vehicle's not working properly. If a mechanic tells you what's wrong with it, that shouldn't scare you. Maybe the price is scary, but still, at least you know. I've always found that knowledge is less scary than the unknown. I am way more likely to start shooting at something that I don't know what it is and I am to shoot at something I know what it is. If I hear a weird noise and I can't see what's coming at me, I'll just start randomly just popping off shots. But if I know that it's just the neighbor, I'll usually not fire. Usually. Not always, but usually. Depends on which neighbor, really. BPD is not that bad of a condition. There are good things to it. I've discussed that a lot. The fact that we can feel emotion is awesome. Maybe, if it's checked, if you can control that feeling of emotion. I am actually starting to get to a point now that I'm learning to enjoy my emotions, not to, to feel them. I've had to fight feeling my emotions for a long time. That was one of the ways I dealt with the BPD. It was easier in the beginning to try to block out my emotions altogether. Since my emotions were what usually led me to making bad decisions. My emotions were so overcharged that it just logic and 
normal subtleties, all kinds of just, yeah, it went out the window. My emotions took over and I was just, you know, you know, you know, right? Okay. So I just decided to just push them down, pretend like I didn't have emotions, be a robot. Being a robot's not fun. Now I'm at a point, though, where I can start to let those emotions come back and feel them and not be ruled by them. Or maybe not. I don't know. This video is mainly to tell you about Mr. BPD customized handcrafted shit. These are handmade motherfucking coffee mugs that you can buy for a low, low, reasonable price. There's a link in the description below so that you, too, can get your own personalized Mr. BPD coffee mug and press your friends, make them jealous and envious. Now, those days when the diagnosis is overwhelming you and you're you're feeling overwhelmed. Take a breath, relax. Try to remember, if you can, that even though being diagnosed with BPD may suck, I don't personally think it does, but maybe you do. If you think it sucks, it's still better than having no idea what's wrong with you and just thinking that you are some evil person. Just, if you're just an evil person, there's nothing you can do about it. It's very final. It's, that person's evil. I don't try to help evil people. You can't fix evil. It's just evil. Yet, somebody with BPD, I can help people with BPD. That is something I can do. And if you're out there and you're struggling and you need some help, I do some one-on-one -on -one work. Anyway, there's a email. You can email me if you're interested in, in getting some personalized advice or suggestions. Legally, I don't know what I can technically call it, but hey, email me. But seriously, it's not, it's better to know what is wrong. When you know what's wrong, you can come up with a defense against it. You can expect it. You can start to see patterns. I see patterns all the time. They're everywhere. They're in the walls. Sometimes they're in my skin. But that's not the point. The point is, BPD is not that bad. You can get it under control. There is hope. It's not a hopeless situation. So relax. And that goes for everybody with BPD. This is something that everybody with BPD doesn't do enough of. So right now, I'm going to tell you all to do it. And just relax. Chill out. I know you feel everything so intensely that every single situation has to be intense. But sometimes you can just relax. And just relax. My relaxing is usually intense. Yes, Netflix and chill is usually Netflix chilling extreme with me around. Why? Because I feel everything so like... <laughs> Way to relax is by watching Mr. BPD's Patreon channel. It's an entirely other channel. It only costs a dollar. And you get way lots of videos. There's like 200 videos over there on Patreon. I can't think of a better way to relax myself. I think I'm going to go watch some Mr. BPD Patreon right now. And until next time. Oh, yeah. What am I? Tell me what you're all thinking in the comments section. You got to talk in the comments. There we go. Until next time. Keep on. Keep it on. <sighs> Fuck you too, darts. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.